Vice President Joe Biden said yesterday he can't believe how well the stimulus program is going right now. So where exactly is it going, though? Well, we've uh, put William Law Jeunesse on this, or maybe he put himself on it. He's been doing a, a darn good job with it. He's been tracking your taxes from Los Angeles. William, I do have to point out you have very nice penmanship on those signs as well. Thank you very much. And you know, you're right, the stimulus money is supposed to help jobs, but it's going here. You know, the National Institute of Health is the federal agency that supports medical research. Only one in five grants gets funded, which is why you might wonder why we're spending $650,000 to give 10th grade pot smoking Latino students a pep talk. Here's a study about mothers who neglect their kids. They'll take women with a low IQ and dirty homes and compare them to a control group of low income women and see if it is predictive of neglectful behavior behavior if you have poor hygiene. Over here, anxiety sensitive heroin users, that's right. A study to give coping skills for inner city poverty stricken addicts in hopes that they will use less smack and have less sex. Over here, a study about couch potatoes in college, motivational interviews to get sedentary hazardous drinking college students off alcohol and into the gym. This is the You're Kidding Me study, a half a million dollars to get people to stop smoking. They say it's innovative approaches and yet all they're using is the patch, Nicorette gum, and nicotine-free cigarettes. 22 million people a year try that, been there, done that. Now, we know it's tough being a parent, but apparently gay fathers are getting depressed. They adopt children, they get confused about their identity, they stray in their relationship and have risky sex that has a risk of HIV. Here is the risks facing female drivers, the problems they have with vehicle handling and mastering traffic. I think we all have that problem. And finally, Get Active Orlando. This is true, and I'm quoting. They will study the effects of walking, bicycling, and gardening on the lifestyles of urban dwelling older adults and ethnic minorities. They get free bikes, accessories, and training. So, Congress yesterday wrote a letter to the NIH saying, what is going on? Watch your bottom line every day is in the is in the nickels and dimes and dollars all add up. We need to be more accountable in how tax money is spent in Washington because right now it's just it's unbelievable. Borrow, spend, and let the next generation pay the debt. It's outrageous. They're also giving money to Thai transsexuals and drunken Mongol women, studies that is, and about two hours we'll cover some of those as well. We, it's also on the web, you guys. Yeah. Back uh, to you. Real quickly, William, who okayed that stuff? Whose dolls well, are Well, there you is using? a peer review. Well, yeah, the, the NIH has a, a peer council and review process, and that's what Congress wants to know. How are you funding this when you're not funding four out of five other things for legitimate medical research? All right, Steve? William, uh, thank you for exposing this, I think. Great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Eye-opening. Thank you.